Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Yahweh is so good. <laughs> so, um, was in the land, um, and uh, my the, lady, uh, the girl I was staying with, her and her boyfriend, um, her mom gave me a ride into Daytona so I could start hitching out of uh, out of uh, Florida. And I have about 90 or 103 pounds of uh, 103 pounds of gear with me. That's uh, all my stuff right there. And uh, was walking down the, this road uh, in Daytona, heading to US One and uh, and I-95. And uh, I'm walking. I was I uh, texted Jasmine, the girl I was staying with, and uh, texted Raylene, who I was uh, talking with for a minute there while I was taking a break on the side of the road. And uh, you know, told him I was like, okay, well, hey, uh, let me let me text you back. I'm gonna I'm gonna walk up to this exit about a mile away. Um, and uh, it was a little bit more than a mile, but I'm gonna walk up to this exit about a mile away. Um, and then I'll uh, you know text you or contact you when I get there. Well, the amazing thing was is that before I even got there, I got a ride. Somebody just stopped and picked me up. This young uh, young boy named Justin, probably in his early 20s. Um, and so he uh, stops, picks me up, and you know, uh, introduces himself, asks me my name, and um, you know, one of the first things he tells me is that he's like, dude, I, you know, I really have no idea why I picked you up. I, I never pick people up. I, you know, um, I, I, I've never picked anybody up, and I just never do, and I don't really know why you, I picked you up. And so my response immediately was, well, it's because God told you to. And he just kind of, ch- you know, kind of chuckled, laughed, and I was like, well, no, seriously, I mean, God had you stop and pick me up. And um, he just kind of, you know, all right, like, you know, a little whatever type attitude about it. But um, we're driving, you know, and he just kind of asked me, so where I'm from and what I'm doing. So I kind of told him a little bit about my story. And, um, you know, um, some, for some reason, I don't even remember how it got around to it, but I mentioned that I'm an ex-drug addict. And um, he asked me what drug, and so I told him methamphetamines. And um, he goes, oh, wow, I'm, I'm struggling with that right now. And I was like, yeah, I, you know, I kind of sensed, you know, that there was a deep struggle uh, inside you, some kind of addiction, and um, so I, I, I kind of told him, uh, you know, about how uh, during my meth addiction, how I had to get down on my knees one day and just tell God, God, I can't quit this shit. You have to quit it for me. Amen. And that was my prayer. And uh, since that point forward, I mean, I did have two relapses within the first year um, for like, you know, one day and a two-day relapse or something like that, two-day and three-day, I can't remember, but did it two separate times uh, on a little binge there and haven't gone back to it since. I mean, essentially, I've been clean ten and a half years, uh, well, I mean, 11 years, May 17th, if you don't include the the little uh, relapses, but explained, you know, the story to him and how I've been clean for 11 years, essentially, and... um, you know, he goes, man, that's, you know, I wish I could get clean. I was like, well, I mean, you sound like you don't want to be addicted to it anymore. He goes, no, man, I'm, I hate it. And I was like, well, how long is it? He's like, he's like, I'm not high right now. And I was like, well, how long has it been since you've been high? And he goes, it's been about four days and, uh, you know, I'm craving it pretty badly. And I was like, okay, so, uh, you know, do you, do you want to go back to it or do you want to be free of it? And he goes, man, I, would, I, I want to be free of it. And I was, I didn't even like say anything else. I just immediately put my hand on his back while he was driving and, um, immediately just started praying for him and, and denouncing the spirit of addiction and, uh, you know, uh, asking for purification and uh, uh, asked Papa to rewire his synapses and purify his bloodstream, um, every blood vessel in his body, and uh, to, to just completely transform and cure him right there. And I, um, just like uh, when Yeshua was walking through the crowd and somebody touched his garment and he felt the power of the Holy Spirit move through him um, and knew that somebody had touched him, I felt very intensely like the most intense i've ever felt in my life other than maybe like once or twice other when i saw an actual supernatural miracle like you know healing type thing um this to me is a supernatural miracle but i felt the power of the holy spirit moving through my hand and um i mean it just got so so hot on his back and he uh yeah he i mean he started slowing down the car and started crying and weeping and uh, I said, Amen, in Yeshua's name, Amen, and he just goes, Oh my God, dude, I felt like my whole, you know, 
And he goes, I, I just, I, I felt that. I, I mean, I, I felt that, and I, I am thankful. And oh my gosh, like that was, you know, he, he actually he, he used the word that was fucked up. <laughs> was his response? And he goes, I mean, just like, I mean, that was so weird. And I go, yeah, God works in mysterious ways. It was pretty amazing. He goes, that's the word, amazing. <laughs> so um, right then in that moment, though, um, you know, he, he, I. I know that I know that I know that he was he was cured of his addiction and I did warn him I said Satan is going to attack you with it he's going to throw temptations into your life um, but know right now that you do have the power and the authority and the strength in Yeshua in in the Christ to do all things including resist that and do anything that uh, you're called to and so he was just fully encouraged and um, he uh, dropped me off about 15 miles from where I was at said that he had to go, you know, he, that his uh, his dad's girlfriend had just kicked him out of the house, his dad struggles with meth, and he was just going over to his uncle's house here in this little town called Palm, uh, Palm something that I'm in, Palm Coast, I'm in a little town called Palm Coast, a little bit north of Daytona, and he had dropped me off here, and uh, he goes, where are you headed? I was like, St. Augustine, he goes, why there? And I was like, it's a good place for travelers and homeless people to get back on their feet, um, you know, if you want, when you're done with, you know, done with your uncles you know you could meet me up there if i'm still in town and he goes well i'm only working for about two hours i was like well shoot it i'll just wait here if you want and you can you can cruise up there with me and he just got really excited and so uh he and justin is gonna go work for his uncle uh here in palm coast and uh then come back and pick me up and we're gonna head up to uh, saint augustine together and um hopefully papa will just lay down some more just beautiful you know mysterious ways of his work and uh, really help begin a, a massive good work and transformational process in, in Justin's life. And uh, also I did tell him that I was gonna go ahead and um, you know, uh, teach him a few things as far as like making money for himself, you know, uh, arts and crafts, stuff like that. Um, you know, how to sell stuff on the street or whatever. It is. So uh, yeah, hallelujah. Um, praise Yahweh, there is none like our Father in heaven. He is, I mean, there is truly none like him. And uh, so yeah, that I uh, just wanted to throw that out there right after it happened because I wanted to make sure that uh, I keep these video blogs up to date and as uh, consistent as possible. I uh, do apologize again for the hiatuses I've taken uh, over the last three weeks or so. But uh, I love you guys. Blessings. You always peace and joy uh, be upon you and Yeshua's light shine through you always. Amen. Love you guys. Bye-bye.